I'm Dave Strasburg from Runner's Remedy, and I'm here to talk to these fellows today at Alton Sports about our products and what they can do to help uh, injured runners get back on the road or back on the trail. Um, basically, we have a line of products here uh, designed for runners to combine the benefits of icing and compression. I don't know if you've ever been to a physio or a doctor for an injury, but one of the things that they're always talking about is the acronym RICE, Rest, Ice, Compression, and Elevation. And there's a lot of compression products available on the market now. It's a very hot area um, and a lot of opportunities to ice various areas. But the problem is a lot of times icing is not convenient. The last thing you want to do when you get back from a run, you've got your heart rate up, you're feeling good, is sit down for 20, 30 minutes and ice your shins with a bag of peas or roll your foot over a frozen Coke can or something like that. So these offer a great opportunity to combine that middle part of the RICE acronym, ice and compression together in one easy to use product. And I always like to tell the customers, icing is kind of like stretching, you know, it will work, we know it will work. And everybody's going to be really good about doing it for the first couple days. But then compliance just drops off the cliff right after that. So this is going to be something that they're actually going to use. Um, the first product that is available is the shin wrap. And that's this product right here. It's a single gradient compression sock sleeve with an integrated ice pack pocket. Uh, designed to place that uh, ice pack right directly over the shin, the tr normally troublesome area. Um, each product comes with a uh, wrap and four uh, reusable dehydrated ice packs. This is a common question among um, purchasers as they wonder if these are reusable or if it's something that you throw away and they are reusable. What you do is before you use it the first time you just add a little bit of water to the tray and then you toss it in the freezer and let it freeze. So easy enough. So I'll go ahead and do that here. Now we say uh, to put a quarter cup of water in the tray, and if you want to eyeball that, that's basically just covering the bottom of the tray so you don't see any more dry plastic. So it's about right there. Take the ice pack, toss it in the tray, and you give it about a minute to soak up the water, and when we get done, it's going to turn into a gel pack. So just set that down there and let that soak up, and we'll talk a little bit more about the product. When it comes out of the freezer, it's actually going to be thin and solid like a block of ice. It's about a quarter of an inch thick. So as opposed to taking a, a bag of peas or a bag of ice and strapping it on your shin, wrapping an ace bandage around it, you don't have something big and bulky that's there that's moving that you can't slide your jeans over top of. It's very low profile, very targeted for a specific area. When you first put it in, the ice pack is actually going to be solid and thin. So what you're going to do is slide it down in the pocket, just press on it, and it will snap and conform right to the shin. Once it's done that, what's really nice about this product is you have the ability to very finely tune or target a specific area. If you've got a lateral uh, tendinopathy on the side, if you've got a medial, or even uh, my favorite use for these actually is for my calves. Um, after I go for my long bike rides, my calves are very tender and sensitive, so I'll flip it around the back, take the ice pack and slide it down in the back, and apply it there. Um, one of the questions you're going to get asked is how long are they cold for? You probably get about 20 to 25 minutes of icing. Um, we'll tell the customers, since you get four ice packs with each product, go ahead and hydrate and freeze two of them right away. That way you can come back from your run, put the wrap on, slide the ice pack in, and go do whatever you need to do. Go get a cup of tea, check your email. 20, 25 minutes later, walk by the freezer, and you can swap that out with the one that's in there. Um, usually two cycles is good immediately post-exercise. And the quicker you can get it on, the better, because immediately after um, a workout or an exercise, what happens is your blood vessels will start to swell and the channels between them will open up. At that point, the fluids that are in there, the inflammatory fluids like the leukotrienes, the different chemotaxis agents, the prostaglandins will leak out into the surrounding area, start to flare things up. That's what gives you the swelling and the stiffness in the area. So by compressing it, you keep them closed. By icing it, also prevent all that from taking place. Can you over ice? You can, but this is pretty self-limiting because you're only getting about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, and you do you don't want to completely shut the circulation down, but you just want to kind of calm things and catch it. Um, that's why it's nice to, to put the product in. You do still have a layer of fabric here between the product and the skin, so it's not like an ice bag directly on the skin too, a little bit protective there also. So 20, 25 minutes, give yourself a break of five minutes or so. And that's usually a pretty good regimen to go by. So this one is hydrated now. And um, just mix it up a little bit to make sure that's all in there. And you can feel it. It's turned into a gel pack. Pretty simple. 
what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and shake any excess water that's in the tray out just to make sure we don't get any frost when we throw it in the freezer. So for the shin wrap, you just flatten the mask back out like that, put it in the tray, toss it in the freezer and you're good to go. Um, the ice pack is the same for all three products. The only difference is for the shin wrap you want it straight. For the Achilles wrap and the arch wrap, after you hydrate it, you need to um, flatten it out, put a little crease in the middle like this, and then fold it in half. Just flatten it out like this. So you've got a nice thin two-sided ice pack. When you take this out of the freezer, you're going to have two solid sides with a flexible center. That gives you the ability to wrap certain areas more conveniently, more compactly. Okay. The um, Achilles wrap is the next one here. This is the green box. And the benefit of this one is that the Achilles, like you said before, very troublesome area, very bothersome, especially after hill workouts. Anytime you've put ex you know, excessive stress, speed workout, something like that. Um, and there's a lot of movement in this area, so the typical products that you would find would require you to wrap the bottom of the foot or wrap the whole ankle area, which is difficult and cumbersome. So this is nice. You take the folded, I folded frozen ice pack and you slide it down inside this little pocket here in the back. Okay? Slide it inside there. Get that down nice and low over top of the Achilles. Take the top part of the wrap and you fold this down over top of that. That does two things. One, it gives you an extra layer of compression. And the next thing is it allows you to seat that down directly low over the insertion of the Achilles, which is generally where it hurts. You know, it feels like somebody pinches, pinches you from the side right there and you get that tightness. That's the inflammation, that's the swelling of all those tissues closing up, grabbing on that tendon and not letting it get away. So by icing it, keep that swelling down, keep that blood flowing free through there. Um, because the shoe is still open, you've still got the ability to uh, go ahead and uh, put your foot in there like that. You can still wear a shoe over top of it. Um, the toes are open, so you can wear a sandal. And it really doesn't look quite as medical as a lot of the other things. The third um, and final product is the um, arch wrap, designed for use for plantar fasciitis. Um, got a little pocket in the bottom like this. Prepare the ice pack the same way, fold it and freeze it. When you slide that inside the ice pack pocket, once you get it in there, you can, uh, you can leave it like that if you want. You can fold one layer up like this and get one layer of compression. Or what most people do is go ahead and fold it twice, get a second layer of compression. This would be a great alternative to the frozen Coke can or the water bottle or something like that because you can kind of put your foot up and leave it in place. Um, the ice packs are all reusable. You get four with each one. We tell people just hydrate two and then you have an, another two if you're going to travel and you want it to be convenient. Just take them with you and hydrate them you're going. Uh, and then there's also a red box, which is a replacement ice pack kit for anybody that wants extras or happens to use them. Um, you, you get six of those in that pack. Would you be able to use the shin wrap um, after the ice pack as well, just as a, as a compression sock for the most? Yep. Yep. yep, you definitely would. Um, some people, most people won't wear it like while they're running, but if they, some people will wear it just throughout the day yeah, and after yeah, that. Yeah, you know, you can, it feels good to have it on compression anytime a tissue is injured or something like that. When you stimulate the pressure fibers, that feels good. Um, just like when you whack your finger with a hammer, what's the first thing you do? You grab it and squeeze it, and it doesn't hurt as much. And that because of, that's because the pressure fibers are overriding the pain fibers. So not harmful at all, no issue. It's a very mild amount of compression. The idea is to combine a single compression together. Thank you for your time. Thank you.